when you watch your breath, you're seeing something nobody else can see. Other people maybe can hear your breathing or see your chest and abdomen rising and falling, but the sensation of the breathing is something only you have. No one else can take that away from you. No one else can come in and try to steal it from you, and you're not stealing it from anyone else. Before the Buddha left the palace, he looked out at the world and he saw that everything was already laid claim to. Any place you wanted to find happiness, you'd have to take something away from somebody else. He wanted to find a happiness where you didn't have to do that, where there was no conflict. He found it inside. We have the potential inside for a true happiness much better than anything we can get from outside. So we have to ask ourselves, why do we keep wanting things from outside, outside, outside? Part of it, of course, is because our body needs food. But beyond that, it's because we don't have the skills to find a genuine happiness inside that we're trying to depend on things outside so much. So let's work on those skills inside. The breath is here. Your awareness is here. You've got mindfulness. You've got alertness. Just bring some ardency to putting all these things together right. You can find that what the Buddha found was true, that it is possible once you've taken, as he says, this arrow in the heart, the arrow that's trying to find happiness outside. You move that from the heart, you look inside, and you develop the right skills, and you find there's more than enough to keep the mind happy. Even as the body inevitably gets older and it gets sick and it begins to die. This quality that you can develop in the mind, that you can find in the mind, is still there. Nobody else can take it away from you. No, no one else can charge you money to, to look at it. And you don't have to take away anything away from anybody else. That's why I called it a state of peace, totally free from conflict. So we want peace in the world, and if we want peace in our hearts, we have to look in our hearts to find a happiness that doesn't require any, any conflict. And it's, the potential is there, just so we learned how to look for it. <laughs>